we finally got our turkey visas. Um, we didn't end up paying for the insurance. It's an introduction to Turkey. Before you get to Turkey, you start getting hassled by the embassy to upsell you on stuff that apparently doesn't matter. It was like, where does it say it's not? Because it's health insurance anywhere. So then he asked, then they asked us, does it? Oh, but you know, but does it uh, cover ice skates? Ice skates? <laughs> we're like, it, it's health insurance. It covers whatever. Like when you're out and about, it's like no, okay. Ice skating. Well, if you uh, then you told us that some hospitals don't take the insurance. So we're like, okay, but like, does this stop us from getting a visa? He's like, no. So I was like, okay. So can we have our visas? He's like, okay. We'll issue our visas. But if you do need the insurance, you can message me at any time, and I can get the insurance for you. But we got visas. That's all mm. that matters. And we saved three thousand rand each on insurance. Yay! lives at this restaurant that's called Atlas and they have amazing food which is a breakfast day amazing we're going to a cemetery because apparently it's something you have to do yeah, it's beautiful never went have been to a cemetery for fun before the place where we need to do a PCR test isn't replying to me and I can't make a booking online because I need a doctor's recommendation so we have to go there today to make a booking and they are closed on Saturday and we need our results Saturday so we can fly to Turkey I think we're supposed to throw this in here, but we don't know, so it might ruin it. But um, how warm is it? Maybe we just didn't listen properly during the tour, and it was a whole nother thing. No, it was this place. Not the lady thing, because otherwise she's gonna be like. <laughs> okay. Oh my, it smells amazing. I don't know what this looks like. Come on, buy a Hmm. Two of those. Getting drunk in the morning on a Monday morning. <laughs> Not bad. Right? Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's hot. Mm. This is very hot. Drink. It makes it a bit sweeter. Mm. There's more muggy, but it's very like grainy. Mm. Like it's a lot of. Straight through, there's no filter. Yeah. So straight through coffee. It's, uh, but it's very tasty. But some milk would have been nice. Really getting nice. I'm really liking this now. Four three degrees now. And uh milk is cold. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> And you wonder like about the people's lives, the lives that they had, what they did, who they were. Take me great. I wonder if it's strange to know where you'll be buried one day. So apparently a lot of these people were actually buried in the city square. And they were moved um, when the Austrian Empire came here because they said it was unhygienic to have graves in the city. <laughs> Crazy how many like times this country has fought for itself and its people like we were thinking now counting i mean they defended this themselves against the polish when they wanted to take them the austrians the germans in the world war the turkish the mongolians 
uh, uh, Russians. Russians now. <laughs> yeah. And so. then, I guess you can say like the Soviet times. Yeah. As well. It's still going, like after hundreds of years, it's still fighting for the independence and mm. to be Ukrainian. And it was interesting because I thought like they're on the edge of becoming part of the European Union. And then the lady yesterday said on the Twitter that she doesn't actually think it's going to happen, right? Yeah, they need like a, like Russia would still want a buffer zone so that NATO is not like on their borders. Because I think like it's within 50, 500 kilometers of um, Moscow. I didn't bring my camera. So this is what it really looks like. <laughs> I usually look worse than this on the camera. I look really worse. I look like a mouse. Anyway. We came for takeaway and stayed for truffle burgers. It looks so good. So the global app we've been using has been like offline for the past few days. Yeah, it's been amazing since we got here. I don't think we've been able to eat without it. The guy here is so nice. He's like, sit down and he brings us water. Super energetic and stuff. It was quite cute. But I also think it's been locked down, so they've probably been closed till like today or something. So he hasn't yeah. had a job, so he's excited to be with you. As you can hear, it's like a jammy little burger joint, which is cool. Yeah, this is life. This is what we do in the week when we sit at home all day and work and eat and sometimes go for a run. Oh, it's good, but it's strong. It's very good. Strong for a Tuesday evening. Yes, strong for a night of work. This looks so good. Oh my goodness. It's truffle bar yeah. surprise. An awesome, surprisingly really nice dinner with like the coolest guy. Yeah, I think I think the I think the waiter was like cooler than the actual food. Yeah, the, the food, food was good. good. Yeah, the food was good. But he made it. Yeah. Uh, after we've had quite a tough day fighting with or Turkey um, private visa company trying to upsell us on like ridiculous oh. priced PCR tests. Hold on, scammers. <laughs> and after fighting most of the day, they finally said they were refunded. <sighs> and yeah. next is eDreams to fight with them for their refunds. <laughs> Already fought with them for like two or three weeks now. <sighs> but the food was nice. Good end to a tough day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If you want to continue following the adventures, click on the red subscribe button underneath the video to see what a 24-hour travel day looks like from Lviv, Ukraine to Antalya, Turkey.